What up folks, it's Alex here. Welcome back to 5 Minute Friday. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a really cool little morph transition, really handy for products, shots, and that sort of thing. Now, I need to be completely transparent. This isn't my idea at all. Caleb over at DSLR Video Shooters just made a video talking about this, showing you the setup and showing you how to do it. So please do head over to Caleb's channel, give him a subscribe, give him some love, watch the video. It's all linked down in the description below. He takes full credit for this idea rather than me. So with that out of the way, let's open Resolve and I'll just show you really quickly how to do it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the Edit tab and as you can see, I've already set up my first clip on my timeline. Now if I just hit play, you can just see I've got my camera set up on a tripod, I was recording this lens, there's no movement, there's no movement in the item or in the camera itself. After a few seconds, we just replace the lens with another lens, trying to keep it in exactly the same place as it was before, like so. So what I want to do is I've got this section here where it's completely stationary, so then we can just gonna do a cut using Control and B. We're going to skim forward, we're going to cut out all of this bit, which is where we're actually doing the replacing, to about here, about there. And then we'll do another cut. And then we want to delete this whole section and move everything left, so we're just going to give it a click and then hit the delete key for ripple delete, and that'll just bring everything together. So now if we hit play, we've got this lens, and then it'll just jump to the next lens. Then all we're going to do to make the actual morph effect, open up your effects library in the top left hand corner, open up the toolbox, you're going to go to video transitions, smooth cut, and then just drag that onto the cut there like so. And then if we hit play, it's just going to merge or morph two lenses together. Now of course it's a transition, so if that's a bit slow, you can just speed it up by reducing the length of the transition or lengthen it to make it a little bit slower if you prefer. So let's just shorten that a little bit and we'll hit play. And there we go. Now there are also a few additional options for smooth cut. If we give it a click, open up the inspector, you can change the mode between faster and better. And then you can also change the easing, which adds a curve to the transition. So it will start off slower and speed up and that sort of thing. So now we've morphed the two together, we want to add some additional camera movement. And we're going to do that using one of my favorites, which is the dynamic zoom. Now, because we want the zoom to be consistent across the two clips, we're not actually going to apply it to the clip itself. We're going to use an adjustment clip. So we're going to open up the toolbox again. We're going to come down to effects, and then we're going to grab an adjustment clip, and we're going to put it above our video file, like so. And then we can give the adjustment clip a click, open up the inspector, toggle on the dynamic zoom, and then you can also change the easing within there if you like. I really like ease in and out. It's a pretty good place to start. And then if we hit play, we've got this slow zoom out, the merge, and it will continue zooming out. If you want to change this fake camera movement, this dynamic zoom, all you do, underneath your preview window here, you've got this drop down box, select dynamic zoom, and then really simply, the green box is your starting point and the red box is your end point. So if you want to do a much greater zoom, we'll just make the green box smaller. And then if we hit play, we start off really zoomed in and zoom out like so. Or alternatively, if you want a bit more of a pan, we can just make these boxes roughly the same size. We'll have the green box over to the right, the red box over to the left, and then we'll pan across to the left like so. And that's it. Dead easy. You can do as many of these as you want along your timeline. They're really quick, they're really easy to do, and they actually give a really cool effect. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, any comments or feedback down below, and don't forget to subscribe. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you do enjoy this, you like this technique, make sure to head over to Caleb's channel, give him some love, give him a thumbs up or a subscribe, because he came up with this rather than me, so he deserves all the credit. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.